everyone, before we get into this video, I just had to jump in and say when I was filming this video a few days ago, I didn't realize that it was slightly out of focus. And so I'm really, really sorry if that does bother you. This was filmed on my big camera. It was so far away, I just couldn't see. So if you hate it being ever so slightly out of focus, please just listen to it like a podcast. I promise it frustrates me way more than you could ever imagine. So I hope you guys don't mind. But anyway, enjoy the video. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different. I hope you're ready for a chit chat sort of video. So if you are watching this, go and grab a snack, go and grab a drink, or go and grab some clay and we can make some ceramics together. I've just been really liking doing ceramics as a form of self-care. If you saw my recent video, I'll link it up here of my little self-care routine. I've just been really enjoying it and I know you guys have been loving watching those videos too. So welcome back to Pottery with Jess. I am no professional here. If this is your first time watching my videos or coming to my channel, just beware. I am no professional in any sense. I've had no lessons. I literally just bought some clay and I've been playing around with it and it's just a good time. So don't go in the comments and be like, you know, it's wrong. I know. In today's video, my attempt is going to be making some cups. Now I have made a cup before and honestly, it turned out so bad. The method that I used last time was like putting it in a bowl and then making a hole and then, uh, anyway, it just didn't go so well. So I'm going to try a new method today, which is probably incorrect, but I'm going to do it anyway because I want to. And I'm also gonna try and spice up this video by adding some questions that were sent in by you guys over on Instagram. So thank you so much for sending those through. If you haven't already, please do subscribe, hit the bell so you don't miss when I upload. Just do it, just hit it. Thank you so much. Alrighty, so getting on into it, I actually don't have a mat that I use. I do need one, I'm on the lookout, but I need to find the right one. So baking paper is going to have to do. First things first, let's get our clay. Hopefully I can make two. So I've got this much. I'm gonna split that in half because I think that is quite a lot of clay. I'm just gonna slice that in half. Thank you very much. I honestly don't know if that's enough, but it is going to have to be. First things first, I'm going to get a little bit of water. Yeah, also just want to disclaim once again, I don't know what I'm doing. Please take this video with a grain of salt. Don't at me. So let's get into the first question. I've just written them out in front of me because I knew I wouldn't be wanting to touch my phone with these hands. What got you into modeling and when did you realize it could be your career? Um, I feel like I've covered this in millions of podcast episodes, but how I started was literally just by working with a bunch of freelance photographers in Canberra when I lived there and working with a bunch of makeup artists and kind of, yeah, just working on a free basis and they were as well. So we were both like building up our portfolios and everyone got something out of it. I started getting bookings in Sydney after doing the freelance thing for a couple of years. And then after that, I was kind of <laughs> sick of the travel to and from Sydney, from Canberra, it was a lot. But that's just what you gotta do. And now I live here, so it's really, really handy actually living here now and being able to pursue it. But when I made it my full-time job was at the start of this year. Okay, um, just again, I don't know what I'm doing, but I feel like this method potentially could work a bit better for me. I know anyone who is doing ceramics or they know exactly how to do it is probably looking at this and going oh my god someone please help this girl honestly same my idea right whenever i'm making clay anything like that i vision in my head like logically okay like how could this work how can i actually make this into what i want it to be and I kind of go from there. So all the plates and all the everything I've ever made has literally just been me going, okay, like logically, how can I make this? Never really watched too many tutorials because they are hard and they all require a wheel. Bitch, I don't have a wheel. Okay, so let's pick this up. That looks great. 
sweet. See, this is my idea to flatten it like this and then I'll roll it up like a roll up. I'm gonna go like that, I think, and maybe that. I think that height will be good. I'm gonna like cut this side on an angle so then I can stick it to the other side and it's gonna work well. I say that now. What was the second part of that question? Oh yeah, when did you realize it could be a career? Pretty much when I moved to Sydney because that's where all the modeling work is. You'll get something like this. And my idea, I think it's a bit too small. Okay, no, we've got to roll it out further. This, and then it's gonna sticky together like that. Ta-da! I'm gonna put some water on there and then use a funky tool like this one to go and push it in or something. Next question. What laptop do you use for editing? I use, not even a laptop, I have an iMac, um, which I use for all of my editing. I don't actually edit on my laptop at all because my laptop is a dinosaur. It is a MacBook from 2012 and it still has a disk drive. So how did you afford to move out so young in Australia? I honestly feel like I wasn't that young when I moved out. I only moved out at the start of this year when I moved to Sydney. Like, yes, I totally get that living in Sydney can be quite expensive, but Geordie and I, we've been together for four years now and we actually started a joint bank account two years into our relationship because we kind of just, knew that we were going to be together sort of thing so we we're like yeah screw it let's just start saving now didn't know what we were saving for and it honestly made moving here so much easier because we had a bank account to kind of fall back on so i highly recommend doing that and preemptively saving for something you might not know you're saving for even comes to like traveling or just things you want to do in your life whether it is buy a pet or put a deposit down for a house so just start saving for something because your future self will thank you. But yeah, moving out for us was actually relatively, like I don't wanna say easy, but it was at the same time because we knew what we wanted, we had jobs, well, Geordie had a job, I had my self-employment going for me and it was just kind of like, yeah, well, we've gotta take this opportunity that we've got it. We can't just be like, oh, you know what, it might not work, so let's just take the safe option and stay here and all of that. So I'm very glad that we took a risk and chose an option that would challenge us. And I love our house. I think it is so good. Yeah, I love it here. I love like having my own kitchen. And I love having our own couch, and our own space. Like I love, love, love my family, but I feel like I really strive in my own place. Honestly, Geordie is the best person to live with. He is an absolute legend, seriously. Love him to bits. All right, so now I'm on to making my base of the cup, which I'm going to do something like this. This honestly looks more like a toothbrush holder, but that's all good. Shaping it around the bottom of the mug. You know what? I think this is going okay, considering how much I've never seen anyone do it this way before. <laughs> Can you recommend any good hit music? I have my gym playlist that I am obsessed with. Low key, like it's the best. It's really freaking good. Full of absolute bangers, but it's called Gym Beats and it's just under my account. I'll see if I can link it below. But if you just search Gym Beats by Jess Norbury, I think it will come up. See, I think this will work. <laughs> That's been this whole cup. I'm like, yes, this will work really well. Have faith in the designs that you have in your head and just make them. Did you ever do that as a kid? Like you would design something in your head and you always thought about like how you would make it because that was me. I always like thought about how I would build and design my own cubby house and I was like easy that's exactly how you do it. Ta-da! Look at that! That's attached. Hello. How many times a week do you work out and for how long? I would say my workout routine is about 
four to five sessions a week. I don't really train on the weekends because that is my rest time. I chill out, I don't put my Apple Watch on, I just relax. I think for me that works really well. It might not work for everybody, but I really like it. Honestly, I feel like I could train like five to six times a week, but at this stage, I'm stoked. And for how long? I train for maybe 45 to 60 minutes each time. That's what she's looking like so far. Honestly, still looks like a toothbrush holder. <laughs> Ooh, there we go, there we go. Next question is favorite activewear. I presume you mean like favorite brand of activewear. And at the moment, I obviously love Riderwear. I do work for them, but all of their stuff is so bloody good. I love it. But honestly, at the moment, there's been one set in particular that I have been wearing nonstop and I bought it myself from Gymshark. You would have seen it all over my Instagram already. It's like this greeny bluey set and I just think it is the best thing ever. And also, can we talk about Whitney Simmons' new collection with Gymshark. <laughs> I'm ready to blow my entire bank account on that collection, I swear. I'm gonna get like three different colorways in that entire collection, thank you so much. But Gymshark, if you're watching, I would love Whitney's collection. <laughs> Look, I reckon that looks pretty good. How much money do you spend on food each week? For both Geordie and I, we spend like, $150 on food, so $75 each in our grocery shop per week. We always go to the shops together. We always plan our meals. We'll write out literally seven meals on our meal planner board, and it's always something different every single night. Lots of fresh produce, lots of veggies, and it lasts us the whole week, and I really like going about it that way. For us, $150 is definitely within the budget, but in saying that, sometimes the grocery bill does go over if we have to buy cleaning products or other things that are a little bit more pricey but food wise definitely under 150 a week which is good oh my god I also got a question sorry didn't know people actually thought this but someone asked if I had a boob job do people actually think that like no shade to anyone who does that you do you boo I couldn't deal with any more back pain if I'm completely honest that does not sound like a good time to me thank you another question was what are some of your favorite Instagram creators at the moment I swear I have been loving and this is not just Instagram this is YouTube also Georgia Richards I know you're watching girl can I just say she is my favorite. <laughs> I swear I never miss her videos anymore. I only like religiously started watching her stuff mm, maybe a couple of months ago, but she is good friends with some of my friends and that's how I was like introduced to her and I was like, oh my God, this girl is amazing. Oh, this is cute. Look, it's a little bit wonky, but who isn't? I've also been loving following a few more dietitians and I would highly recommend if you are looking for a dietitian to follow, my friend Alice, I'll pop her Instagram on the screen. She is one of the smartest people I know. She got a bloody ATAR of 99. Sorry, that's really smart. I'd love to get her on the podcast and talk about all things nutrition and stuff like that. That'd be so much fun. So I've been following Elsa's wholesome life for ages but I never realized she had a twin sister. At the moment, I've been loving her twin sister stuff. I think she's literally just like a beautiful travel goddess. Her Instagram handle is Gypsy Lust, and her name's Lauren. Love her. She's just living her best life. Her house is like insane. Love her. Love her dog. So there's a few people if you need some more creators to follow. There you go, guys, a wonky cup. Aren't you so glad that you tuned into my tutorial of my wonky cup? You are so welcome. All right, I'm gonna go and make a second one of these so that they can be friends. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up down below and subscribe. I will be back with vlogs in the next video. So if you hate these sorts of ones, don't stress, the vlogs are never going away. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Jess, I make new videos every three days, so I'll see you in three days.